my beautiful subscribers and welcome to the Ebony Tarot. Just want to start off by saying thank you to all of those who um, like, share, comment and um, subscribe to my channel and help me to grow. I really do appreciate it. All the signs for February have been posted. So if you haven't checked out your reading, go and check it out. Show some love. The, the readings that show the most support, they will be getting an additional reading. So at the moment, it's only Libra that's going to be getting an additional reading for this month. Okay, but I will be doing collective readings like we're doing right now. And um, I will be doing elemental readings, okay? So I will be grouping fire, air, water and earth together. So if your sign didn't get an extra reading, at least you can watch that, okay? I don't want to hear any complaints or any challenges about my decision because... The people that are challenging me and that are messaging me about it, they're not commenting on the videos and they're not liking. So if you're not watching the content, how can you be upset about me not posting more of it? Do you know what I mean? It just doesn't make any sense. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just tired of giving and giving and giving and living in my South Node. Like I'm supposed to be following my North Node, which is Kathy. So I have to go where the support is. That's what's going to help me to grow. So yeah, so if you want the videos, you want... Um, you want extra content you need to be supportive of the channel it makes logical sense okay so thank you to those who do support especially those who i'm doing personal readings for i'm loving the feedback like, oh my goodness so thank you so today i thought i would do something really cool so the last collective reading i done we focused on what chakra is going to be affecting you what you need to work on and what was the overall energy so this time i thought i would do what sign okay is going to be affecting you now this doesn't mean that if i you know do the pendulum pendulum and it lands on virgo that it's only for virgos and you click off that's not what that means okay there are messages on the back of all of these cards this could just represent the energy um in which you need to focus on this could represent the sign that you are or that is in your life that is also affecting you okay or could just mean the house that that sign represents okay but that whatever sign it lands on is going to be the overall energy for the reading okay and then we're going to pull some cards and see what else we can get out okay obviously if it is your sign or you if you have dominant certain placements within the sign that i land on then you know that's extra and additional clarification for you guys okay um, so yeah, let's get into it. Now, remember the energies in this reading can go vice versa, okay? It's for all genders, all races, all roles, and just take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm trying to think of a way I can do this when my arm's not in the camera. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm really excited. I love the pendulum things. So let's see where it lands on. So spirit guides, angels, universe, please let us know what the overall energy is for the collective today. Okay, let's see where it lands on. Oh. What would you say? Would you say that that is Cancer or Pisces or both? Let's do it again because I just want one energy. Sorry, guys. This is the second time I'm doing this, so, you know, I'll get better at it. <laughs> okay, Pisces. I feel like it's going Pisces. Okay. So, oh, my goodness. So, let's put all the other cards away. And let's get into the reading so i'm just gonna have to like shuffle these mix the cards up a little bit okay so the overall energy for the collective today is sorry guys my virgo energy i have to like fix the thing okay <laughs> So, the overall energy we have for you guys today is Pisces, okay? It reads number 12. It says um, Neptune, Jupiter, water, dreams, fantasy, secrets, artistry, psychic, and hypnotic, okay? So, for some of you, you could be a Pisces, you could be dealing with a Pisces, or you could have significant Piscean placements, okay? This is all about your imagination and about your psyche. So, the universe wants you to pay attention to your dreams, okay um the universe also wants you to be more creative and more expressive okay i'm getting something about wish fulfillment as well so for some of you if you're wishing for anything or if you're hoping for anything or if you're trying to manifest anything it's going to go um in your favor okay i'm hearing to be careful not to overindulge um when you do get what you want okay because too much of anything isn't good whether it's nice or bad okay so, you know make sure you're trying to stay balanced okay um, but yeah, I'm hearing something about imagination and creativity, okay? Also music, so music is very significant. You could be listening to a lot of music. 
okay you could also be dealing with a musician okay but get creative allow your imagination to run wild now for some of you you may feel like you're um because i'm hearing something about pay attention to your dream state so you could be having prophetic dreams you may feel like you're being um psychically attacked in your dreams as well so the universe wants you to protect yourself okay but yeah pisces so some of you are very beautiful very hypnotic okay very dazzling okay somebody here's just got a really really powerful mind somebody here also could be a psychic or a reader so that could be something that you are thinking about doing okay so if you want to be a reader if you want to be um if you feel like you're a psychic you're you've got strong um psychic abilities the universe wants you to strengthen them okay so this is your overall energy okay also water is very significant so you need to be drinking more water or i'm um, spending time in water for some of you you may like to swim okay or you may be by a body of water okay i'm also getting something about mermaids and fishes okay i'm hearing something about the aquarium as well okay but i feel like your fantasies um someone here is fantasizing about you a lot or if you do have a fantasy um, I feel like it's going to come into fruition, okay? So interesting energy, guy. Also, I feel like there's somebody around you that's very secretive or a secret may be revealed. You also may feel like you're able to read people's minds, okay? So let's see where this is going. So I'm thinking, should I put that there? And then we can work around it, yeah, okay. I'm trying to think of like a different way to read, guys. Okay, so this is for my beautiful collective. So let's see what's going on. So someone here is real hypnotic, okay? Psychically powerful. Oh, okay, we've got too many cards that want to come out. Sorry, can we just have one card, please? Ooh, oh my goodness. Sorry, guys, so many cards are coming out. Oh, the signs, gorgeous. Okay, so number 11. So yeah, so pay attention to the signs, symbols, and synchronicities that is around you. This card comes out a lot, okay? So for some of you, I feel like you're going to feel like you're really in tune with the universe, okay? I feel like when you think about something, um, you're going to see some kind of clarification. This could be like on the TV. This could be in nature itself. This could be through a person. You could have just been thinking about something and someone says something like, oh my goodness, okay? But um, also songs and art. You're going to get a lot of signs when it comes to songs, music, and art. So please pay attention, okay? If you see 1111, again, we spoke about wishes. So that is confirmation that a wish is going to come true, okay? Yeah, we have the oracle at the bottom of the deck. So like I said, for some of you, you are readers or you know how to read people. You know how to read energy intuitively, okay? I feel like you're, something that you predicted is coming true, okay you may just speak and you just say something and it happens i find that that happens with me a lot people are actually quite scared of me <laughs> in real life it's like how do you know that i'm like i don't know okay because i have pisces in my 12th house okay so i mean in my ninth house cusp with scorpio as well so i like know all the secrets everything like i can't be tricked so i feel like some of you are like that okay you're like walking oracles this also could be indicating that for some of you, you need, um, it's time for you to get a reading, okay? So you may need, you may need to purchase a reading um, from somebody, whoever you trust as a psychic to kind of get guidance. Also, this could be saying that you need to purchase your own cards and, um, you know, read for yourself or somebody may want to get a reading from you. For some of you, you could be dealing with a reader as well or another psychic, okay, as it seems here, okay? So interesting, interesting, interesting. So let's see where this is going, <laughs> Okay. Yeah, underneath that, I was just curious to see. We have the entrepreneur. So for some of you, you could definitely make a business when it comes to um, your mind, okay? Or you're going to be a very su successful reader, okay? But yeah, oracle omens. I'm hearing something about omens. Look out for an omen. So again, we have, um, look at the colors in your hair and life. So again, that Piscean energy, okay? So I'm getting something about chakras. I'm also getting something about the seven hermetic laws, the seven principles of Ma'at. I think it's actually 48, but there's seven main principles of Ma'at, okay? So you could be researching this. Somebody here, again, is very, very creative. So you could be very artistic. So it's saying that you need to um, express your... Um, yourself. Sorry, guys, I just got distracted there, okay? Also, you are protected by the divine, okay? But a lot of communication from spirit. Some of you as well, you know, you are elevated, you are aligned, so you have unlocked something, okay? I'm hearing something about um, activation, something has been unlocked. So some of you can maybe learning how to astro travel, you may know how to lucid dream, 
okay uh, so this is really really exciting okay but something to do with your creativity and the colors of the rainbow so rainbows is very significant for some of you you have been promised something and you're getting it okay but you need to activate your chakras this could be what you're doing some of you you could be focusing on yoga okay or um exercising meditation is very um important here as well you need to sit t sit down and take time with spirit meditate whatever vision you get in your mind there is a message in that vision okay but some of you are visionaries okay so i've got very artistic people on my channel so this is really really beautiful energy okay someone also sees you like this as well okay but yeah someone here needs to be vulnerable because you see how she's naked you need to expose yourself to somebody or allow your minds to kind of um feed you messages okay don't be afraid of your own mind don't be afraid of your own powers use it to your advantage it's almost like this is like queen of wands energy like she's holding a wand here some of you, you could have significant um i want to say leo and aries or sagittarius placements you know all of the all of them okay we have um at the bottom of the deck all you'll ever need is already within you. Exactly. So the divine wants you to really like know this. The power is within you. Draw on your creativity. Draw on your emotions. Draw on your feelings. Draw on your dream state. Okay. Believe that you can achieve what it is that you want. For some of you, you could be dealing with a soulmate or a twin flame that you have a very strong psychic connection with. A very strong bond. I feel like... If you're dealing with this person, they are pulling cards on you. They're getting readings about you. They are watching you, especially if you are a reader. They're all over your channel. You could be watching this person excessively, okay? But I feel like someone knows that they are destined to be with you. So if that is to do with, oh my God, just as I said that underneath, we've got young natural love, yeah. So most definitely. So that's for, um, that's for those who are interested in love, okay? So let's get an additional message. Oh, so we have the witch that wanted to come out, okay? Um, so it says, Enchantress power, magic, witchcraft, spell work, conjure, conjure, alchemy, illusion, bewitchment, enchant. Yeah, someone here is very bewitching, very magical. Like, yeah, your natural seers, natural witches. Okay, someone here is a true alchemist, okay? Aries energy, but it could be any sign, Okay. So like I said, you're very hypnotic right now. I feel like you can manifest whatever it is that you want. You just have to believe in the power of your mind. And there's something to do with colors and the chakras. So you could be learning about different chakras. I did post on my, um, not st I, I want to say stories. I guess it's stories, shorts. Um, what chakra do you need to focus on? So it may help if you go onto that and like screenshot um, because it will let you know what, chakra is that you need to unblock or you need to work with which will help you to activate all seven chakras okay but yeah somebody here is like really um like i said the universe is talking to you man so if you've done like any rituals as of lately or if you've written something to the universe if you've done any vision boards i'm hearing something about create your own vision board something on your vision board something that you've written down all your spells they are working you're going to get clarification that something that you asked for something that you wanted to draw in is coming towards you okay also like i said this could be how somebody is viewing you like someone just thinks that you're real witchy real creative real intoxicating okay it's really attractive oh aries energy at the bottom of the deck did i not just say that i swear to god guys i didn't see this card okay so you are a boss okay someone here's got a very powerful mind you could be an aries pisces cusp this could be cusp in your ninth house i know it is in mine so this reading might be for me let me just touch the wood that touch the um the wood keep it good okay so this is really really beautiful energy again this could be something to do with your career here someone here is like a powerhouse okay so it reads number one mars fire war identity sex impulse passion and leadership yeah i feel like you're supposed to be a leader okay or people really look up to you or there's someone that you really look up to okay again this is definitely something to do with your career okay and i'm hearing like you need to put yourself first when it comes to a situation or you are number one. We've got one, one, one here. Okay. So you are a master um, manifester, regardless of whether you realize it or not. So you need to be very careful when you're thinking. Like, keep your thoughts pure, high vibrational, vibrant. Okay. The color red is very significant as well. I also feel like you need to work with fire. So you need to be burning candles. Okay, I'm hearing something about, you know, when you get those seven day candles where it's got the seven colors, like them chakra candles. I feel like some of you need to get one of those. 
okay or work with the color red okay but follow your impulses what's your impulses telling you okay i also feel like someone is like really like i said someone's really attracted to you here someone is like someone thinks that you're so sexy or they find all of this um witchy shit real sexy okay you could be learning about magic about hip, hip um hypnotists like learning how to decode things okay i feel like you're learning the mysteries of something and it's really really like fueling your energy right now or somebody around you is okay so this is really really powerful energy guys so someone here is really really powerful you're dealing with someone that is okay so let's see where this is going okay <laughs> so this is for my beautiful collective so please clarify signs Oh, okay, so we have the Five of Wisdom. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Oh, and then we have the Seven of Passion at the bottom deck. Could be dealing with a Leo, does not have to be. Now, I'm getting two energies from this. For some of you, you are protected. So if there's anybody that's trying to um, one-up you, trying to sabotage you, anything like that, you are protected, so don't worry. Remember, I just mentioned the number seven with the seven-day candle. So seven is very significant. You may have seven in your um, birthday. So you could be born on the 27th or the 17th or the 7th, okay? Or maybe the numbers add up to number seven, okay? But there is a spiritual lesson that's going on around here. Now, for others of you, somebody is trying to block you, okay? I feel like you're, um, someone could be very jealous jealous of your mind power, of your skill, of your talent, of your creativity. Someone here is really, really envious of you. I feel like someone here is trying to one-up you. They're trying to compete with you in some type of way. They're trying to block you. But, you know, you have peace of mind, so you don't have to worry about somebody trying to block you. I also feel like you're outsmarting your enemies. Okay, it's almost like you're shitting on people. It's like, yeah, ha, 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 ha. I told you. I told you that was going to happen, but you didn't want to believe me. I feel like you're trying to warn someone about something. Okay, someone is not paying attention to the signs here. Do you know what I mean? Someone's not paying. Someone kind of thinks that you're naive and you don't know what's going on. But whoever's trying to sabotage you, you see how she's walking away with those three swords? She's walking into her own demise here because she's about to be um electrocuted. And someone kind of like feels like you're naive. They don't see what's going on. You could be like in denial right here with the two swords going in your heart. But don't worry, okay? If you want a sign that someone's going to, um, you know, meet their comeuppance, they're going to get their karma, this is your sign. But I feel like you are like really kind of like, um, I feel like you're the shit when it comes to your abilities, okay? And, you know, that kind of just upsets people. Oh, well. <laughs> Please clarify. Um, yeah, we've gone to this from the five to the six of wisdom, the six of swords. So, yeah, your spirit, guys, you see how her, ain her, ancest her ancestors... Her um, spirit guides are attached to her antennas. I mean, your ancestors can take the form of anything, okay? So we got the feathers here. You know, we noticed the feather in that card. So we got feathers. We got the little butterflies there. We got the birds. All her guides are um, taking her away from this energy. So like I said, if you were dealing with any of this, or this could be clarification. Maybe for some of you, there is an Aries or a Pisces that is... Um, trying to do something to you because you know aries energy that's kind of like you know i'm the best i'm this i'm that so i feel like you are the best and someone can't someone can't accept that okay but you're being moved away from this energy i also feel like like i said i feel like you outsmart everyone you're just the shit okay your guides are trying to um guide you forward so like i said pay attention Pay attention to your dream state, most definitely. Now, this could be somebody coming towards you, wanting to visit you, wanting to make peace. So if there was like, maybe especially if you were dealing with someone who's just as psychic as you, it could have been like the battle of the minds. So I feel like someone's like, do you know what? Rather than us arguing, rather than like me trying to outsmart you or you trying to outsmart me, let's kind of put our powers together, okay? Because yeah, you know, I mean, somebody here is just really, really, I just, I can't get the word powerful out of my mind here like someone here is a powerhouse like their mind is just indescribable okay if you've been going through any um like i said i mentioned something about psychic attacks this could be somebody trying to psychically attack you in your dream state especially if they're an aquarius you know they rule the universe okay um like i said i feel like you're gonna have peaceful dreams or you're gonna get clarity on who it is and how you can escape that or how you can combat that energy okay we have the nightest of passion at the bottom of the deck yeah follow your passions we've got the word here we got passion here twice. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but it does not have to be. Something to do with red hair as well. Somebody has red hair here, or somebody's really fired up or really creative, or they've got a lot of creative ideas, okay? 
but yeah forward movement okay again this could be to do with a love interest somebody could be coming towards you maybe this person was in and out but they've got clarification that they're supposed to be with you or you are their person okay they're getting a lot of signs please clarify the witch so we have the nine of pentacles here okay so yeah somebody here is self-made okay someone here is very independent very skilled okay virgo could be dealing with a virgo does not have to be someone here is really beautiful now for some of you someone is looking at your picture somebody could be trying to draw you in doing like magic you know with your picture i'm getting like a voodoo doll type energy here okay because the nine of pentacles is normally someone who is being watched but i feel like you um you have a wealth of knowledge talent and skill okay you know so this is why people are so threatened by you someone just doesn't understand how you're doing something it's because you're skilled you know opposite of pisces is virgo energy so someone here is like you know they're just the shit okay virgos do rule perfection so i feel like for some of you you are perfectionists or somebody sees you as perfect okay very very beautiful here okay and then we have oh yeah the nine of passion at the bottom of the deck so like i said you got people mad <laughs> with the five of swords and the nine of wands you intimidate someone i feel like whoever it is that you intimidate they do love you though because you know we've got the queen of cups and then we've got the page of cups at the bottom of the deck so somebody may want to apologize to you i feel like someone is just intimidated by your mind power or by your creativity you know some of you could be lyricists okay you know maybe you're rappers maybe you're singers like i said you know i'm hearing something about electricians as well you could be an electrician it doesn't matter whatever form of work that you do i feel like um someone because you know we've got two nines here so someone here is like insecure and somebody here is very confident within themselves and their abilities very self-sufficient very very abundant very stable okay so I feel like you make someone feel insecure and you make someone feel small. You see the difference in these um these images? Look how tiny she is compared to her. Okay? So someone is like afraid of you. Someone is afraid of you, your powers, your mind. Someone does like I feel like you're I don't want to say that someone doesn't trust you, but I feel like if you've got this type of energy, it's almost like someone finds you very mysterious. They can't work you out. Someone can't read you, but you can read them to a T. And that is very frightening for someone. Now, if this is another reader, it's almost like this reader is comparing themselves to you. And it's just like, I'm sorry, but I'm just cut from a different cloth. Like, there is no comparisons here. You you do you. You read how you read. I read how I read. Because I feel like someone here is like a fraud. They're not really a psychic. They know how to read cards well, but they're not. They don't actually, they're not, like, their psychic abilities are not up to par. Whereas yours is. So, like I said, it's kind of like you intimidate someone or you irritate someone. Like, someone is, like, threatened by you. But they're threatened by you because they admire you. You know, because, like, it's all love. I mean, we've got the Queen of Cups underneath. Okay, and again, that could represent, you know, your intuition, your emotions. Look how it's pouring out of that cup. I feel like your mind just... You got information for days, creativity for days. Um, sorry, one second, guys. Yeah, okay. Now, if this is a loving situation, like I said, it was like, it's almost like when you're with a lover and they like, they hate that you're right and that you're on point, <laughs> but you are. So this person, you know, they may want to tell you, you know, I feel a bit insecure, like I'm sorry or whatnot. But like I said, you're making somebody angry out here. Okay. Could be a Sag. Okay. So do I want to clarify it with another deck? Yeah, let's clarify it with another deck, guys. Why not? So this is for my beautiful collective. Please clarify the five of swords. So we have, yeah, the two of swords. So it could be dealing with a Libra, but it's not have to be. I feel like for some of you, you could be in denial about this. Okay. It's almost like something that you don't want to see. Okay. Or somebody is in denial about how gifted you are. But like I said, they're going to be seeing some kind of signs. If you're asking for the universe for signs as well, pay attention. Because I feel like something is like right in front of you, but you're not, you're not looking at it. Yeah, the tower. Okay. So if, if someone ignores the signs here, they're going to be hit by the tower. The universe is going to get involved. If someone is trying to obstruct you as well, they're going through a tower moment right now. Okay? Because it's like someone doesn't want to admit something or someone doesn't want to see something. Someone just doesn't want you to know that you are the best. The Ten of Cups wanted to come out and then the Page of Cups. So yeah, that's that apology that wants to come. 
Okay, so I feel like people are going to be sweet to you. I feel like maybe somebody prejudged you and now they're feeling really bad. This definitely could be something to do with your family or this could be something to do with your love. But like I said, you're very creative. You have the full capacity of creativity and mind power with the Ten of Cups here. And again, something to do with rainbows. Okay, and Pisces energy once again. So we have Libra, Pisces here as water sign. Okay, also for some of you, you need to work with water or you need to hydrate. You need to drink more water. Okay. But you're going to be very happy about something. You're got, like I said, wish fulfillment. You're going to be promised something. Someone here is also is an incredible artist, man. So put your art out there. Somebody's going to buy or purchase or invest in you. Okay. Also, I'm getting that someone really loves you. Someone, like I said, they were in denial about something. But I feel like now they go from the two of swords to the ten of cups. So someone's going to open up and apologize. Maybe take you out on a date or something like that. Okay. And then, yeah, we've got the page of discs here. Okay. Because somebody knows that you are proof. Okay. Like your, you are proof. Your, your abilities have been proven. Okay. So this could be somebody coming with their sincere apology or somebody wants to give you something. Okay. So this is like, you know, we have two pages here. So you're going to get messages. This could also be someone purchasing something from you, but I feel like this is some, you're like, you're receiving something like something you can taste, touch and feel. Okay. Like someone is going to tell you the truth about the way that they're feeling or about something here. This could also be you working with like hella candles. You may be like, but like, um, burning like nine candles. Okay. Sorry, guys. I just was like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> some of you may have like a speech impediment or you may just feel like you're kind of um, stumbling on your words or something. Okay. Just really excited. Just take a deep breath. Just calm down. It's okay. Okay. So let's see. For my Miss Know It All deck. Let's see what you have to do, what you need to do, what you need to know, or someone around you. Yeah, so we have, um, you need to embrace the challenges. Okay, so I feel like someone is has been trying to challenge you or to create challenges in your life. Like someone wants to keep you stuck. They don't want to, um, you to move forward because someone knows that you are promised something. You deserve to be happy. Okay, you're very skilled. Some of you, you're manifesting love towards you. Someone's making it chaotic in your life. Or if there's a lot of challenges that's going on, you're going to be, the reason as to these challenges is going to be revealed to you, okay? And yeah, you're a beautiful person is at the bottom of the deck. So that's what I feel like it is. I feel like for some of you, you're just really handsome, really gorgeous, inside and out. And like I said, it makes someone feel really insecure. But I feel like someone has no choice but to kind of like tell you this or say something to you. Yeah, because underneath that, we have... um. The four of cups here but you see interestingly enough in this four of cups he's holding the cup normally it's like him he's rejecting the love or he's not seeing it the universe is trying to give it to him the three cups here the past he's not focused on that he wants this cup so i feel like someone wants you now maybe somebody rejected you before but it's almost like someone is like bored with their other options somebody here they want real love or somebody here wants to pay you for your gifts okay or for your talents it's almost like, no, I don't want these three cups. I want this. So I feel like someone feels like they missed out on an opportunity with you. Yeah, because that five of swords energy again. Because somebody here was like competing with you. But really this person loves you with the lover's card. Okay, so this could be your audience. Someone really loves you or your partner really loves you. But they were trying to compete. Okay. So let's see. So we have, you're the best, period. Exactly. I'm telling you, with the ten of cups, the six of swords and all of this energy right here, you are the best. This is what I'm trying to say. I feel like you outsmart everyone around you, even your partner. It doesn't matter. Like someone has to has to admit to you that you are the best, period. With that Aries energy, period, you're the best. Or you're the best that they ever had. Or you do things the best with that Virgo energy. Somebody executes work extremely well. Like someone here is, is talented. Like they got talent for days. You are multifaceted, okay? You need to kind of, um, you know, remind yourself of how beautiful and how powerful you are. If you're getting a lot of challenges or people are ignoring you, you feel like you're not being appreciated. It's because people are, this is how you make people feel. That's not your problem. That's their problem. And it says you need to listen. Yeah. So I feel like maybe you tried to warn someone about something, like I said, or someone wasn't listening to you. Now they want to listen to you. Because like I said, someone has seen proof in something that you've done or something that you predicted or somebody has been proven that you are their person 
or something along those lines and look at the bottom of the deck you are a god s stop allowing people to treat you like you're regular exactly let's just look at that for a minute you are a god you are a goddess and if people don't you know want to respect you as it says tell them to fuck off and keep it moving but don't allow anyone to treat you like you're regular. You need to operate from this Aryan energy. I'm the best, period. I look good. I am good. I create goodness. -ness. <laughs> you're not regular. You're not a muggle. You're a magical being. Okay, some of you are star seeds, earth angels, walking gods and goddesses. You need to be treated as such. And like I said, someone knows this. You, ha you are at the full capacity of oneself. This is mastery level here. So I feel like you've mastered yourself. Other people, they, they haven't mastered themselves. They still got a, like long ways to go. Like they still got, um, I just had um, that song by Cassie. You got a long way to go. People have got, um, they've still got one more wand basically okay because like now I'm, I'm finding it challenging to try and articulate myself because somebody's trying to like someone is just they're just trying to block you period they're trying to block you but i feel like you cannot be blocked you cannot be stopped i feel like every time when somebody tries to come to block you you come back better and better and better somebody has beat down and wounded where you're not or this could be you embracing your challenges you've gone through all of that and you still come out looking the best because you know in this card she doesn't look like she's beat down she looks like she's kind of like triumphant to be honest she's got all her ones here and she's like yeah okay like you know i've been through it but <laughs> i still look like a god i still look like a goddess i still got my godly powers okay for some of you this could have been like initiation maybe you just keep going through all of this you know like, when is this going to stop when am i going to get my happiness when am i going to get what i want when am i going to get what i deserve i feel like for some of you you were given your happiness but somebody here didn't want to give it to you or somebody here didn't want to admit something. But they're going to, so don't no worry about it. No worry about it, okay? So let's pull one of these cards. This is for, um, oh, one second, guys. This is for um, the collective. Gorgeous. It says, your ancestors are so proud of you, for you are proud of yourself. Exactly. Okay. And then we have heritage here. So yeah, be proud of yourself. You see how it says, um, black is beautiful. Whatever color you are, you are beautiful. You're doing your ancestors proud. For some of you, you could be, um, your ancestors as well, because this is in the role of signs. Your ancestors are trying to give you signs, symbols, and synchronicities. They're letting you know that we're proud of you. We're proud of you for embracing these challenges. For some of you, this is your ancestors that put you through all of this. Because I feel like for some of you, you were being reckless or you wasn't you wasn't treating yourself like you were a goddess or you were allowing people to kind of downplay you and mistreat you. I feel like now you're stepping into your power. So your ancestors are like, yes. <laughs> it's about time. Okay. So please clarify you're the best. Yeah, look, we have shadow work that wanted to come out. It says face your inner demons. So like I said, I feel like you have faced your inner demons. You have done the shadow work. Other people have not. That's not your business. Now, for some of you, you could be inspiring people to work on themselves. Okay. Inspiring people. Because I feel like you see, um, you force people to see the darkness, the darkness and the insecurities within themselves. If people are mad at you or they're mad at what you're saying, it's because they are insecure. They need to look in themselves and think, why am I so bothered by this person? Why am I so bothered by my partner? Why am I so bothered, bothered about what that person's doing over there. Why does it affect me so much? Because Uno has things them need for work pun. Period. You've done your shadow work. So, you know, if, if people um, are upset about that, oh, well. And for some of you, you're working towards that. So, like I said, maybe you're still going through your challenges right now. You're getting there. Your ancestors are around you, Okay. We have selfie at the bottom of the deck. What did I talk about with, before with the nine of pentacles? I said someone's looking at your photos. It says someone is stalking your social media. Yes, I feel like someone's all over your social media and like they're getting their feelings hurt. But they can't deny that you're the best at what it is that you do or you look good or, you know. Because why do you keep watching this person if you don't like them? It, it, that don't make no sense. It has indulged. Yeah, what did we talk about before about indulging? 
okay so be careful not to indulge but i feel like you're going to get what you want in a situation it says you deserve to be spoiled of course you do you deserve the attention the praise the abundance that's coming to you don't allow anybody else to, to make you feel like you don't deserve it because with that nine of pentacles energy i feel like you work um diligently well all on your own i feel like you don't get support from anyone but yet people want to want to hate on you or they want to be insecure but it's like you ain't supporting me though so you don't have no reason to be upset and to be hating do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Or your partner wasn't very supportive of you. Now they want to spoil you. Now they want to listen to you. Especially if you're very attractive. I feel like when you're very attractive, um, it's hard for people to take you seriously because they see nothing but the outside. But like I said, you are a powerhouse. Somebody here is imaginative, creative, intelligent as fuck. Okay, and then we have Arcane at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like, like I was saying, I feel like for some of you, you're very mysterious. You're also tapped into the mysteries. Okay? It reads, um, not all needs to be revealed. Keep them wanting more, yeah. So I feel like you're kind of keeping yourself to yourself. You're doing your things. People want more. They want more of your energy. They want, want more of your time. They want to know more about you as well. Somebody wants to understand how you're doing something. You're just amazing. Like, I mean, you know, there's nothing else to say. Okay, so let's just see before this cuts out. It says, I am protected, gorgeous energy. So your ancestors are out here protecting you, so there's no need to worry. Someone's also very protective over you, okay? And then we have, I am playful at the bottom of the deck, okay? So for some of you, yeah, that, that your inner child is healed. So you're drawing on your, you know, when you're being creative, that's you healing your inner child, okay children are very imaginative they're very playful they don't have any worries in the world okay they just go with the flow so i feel like this is what you need to do now for some of you there's somebody around you that's acting real childish they know that they're childish as fuck someone just needs to grow the fuck up okay could be dealing with a gemini but be playful this could also be some your child your child is very powerful or your, you, you may find that your child says things and then it just comes true you're like oh my goodness i've given birth to a little witch you know little wizard so we have love that when it's come out gorgeous so like i said someone loves you these people really love you this person really loves you like i said somebody was denying their feelings because you know reverse it says war so it's kind of like let's make love not war let's embrace our differences and let's come together so this is really really beautiful the number six is very significant and yeah we have passion at the bottom of the deck and you see it's like this person's like making um it's almost like they're doing some kind of ritual there Okay, so again, some of you need to work with fire. Also, I feel like the divine is very protective over your love. So for some of you, if you were having challenges in your love life, it's because people don't want you to be happy. But I feel like you're destined to be happy. Yeah, we have share that wanted to come out. So I feel like you use your gifts and you share it with people. Again, something to do with water. Some of you maybe may need to um, do water scrying. You may be able to read water. That's really interesting. But this could just represent the amount of emotions that, have, that someone has for you. They need to share their emotions you need to share your talents and your skills as well okay yeah reasonings at the bottom of the deck you see these people coming together can we have one more card please oh what do we have manifestation i mean come on now with the witch and the manifestation i mean i know what else to tell you guys you are a master manifester. And, you know, if you're not manifesting certain things in your life or you're wondering why, it's because you need to work on certain things. And it's okay. There is no rush. Work at your own pace. Don't worry about what anyone else is doing. Something is coming to you at the right time. Now, for others of you, you were promised something. And if there's been delays, it's because there's some witch bitch just trying to block you. But don't worry because you are more powerful than this person. And then we have reasoning once again at the bottom of the deck. So look at all those people coming, these fairies coming together. Some of you are very magical. There are four fairies here as well. So your stability. Something is going to be stabilized. Now we have three plus two, which is five. So there's going to be a change. Okay. But someone here is here to reason with you. They want to work together with you. It's like, let's work together rather than hating on each other and being, being bitches. Like, what is the point of all of that? okay what's the point there is none there is always a way exactly so like i said when it said you need to embrace your challenges there's always a way your love will find you you will find what you have a love or a passion for 
Okay, yeah, trust your intuition that wanted to come out. What, what have I been telling you about your intuition? You're on point. If people, if you know, you, you think something, you think something about someone and your partner or somebody's trying to say, no, you're not right. Trust your intuition. Whatever your intuition says, that's what it is. Period. And I feel like this is why people are mad because you're intuitive as fuck. And it says you attract what you vibrate. Exactly. So you can attract what you want. So you're vibrating high. Okay, especially if that Pisces energy, you rule the subconscious mind. So you're above everybody else. You're in a completely different realm. Okay, and it says the world needs your art. Come on, guys. The world needs your creativity. And you are a badass is underneath. You're inspiring people. With your art, with your words, with your poetry, with your skills. Maybe you're teaching people about magic and manifestation, law of attraction. Maybe you're a healer. Maybe you work in a hospital. Maybe you're a nurse. Maybe you're a scientist. You know, you people need it. And I feel like whatever it is that you do, the way that you do it is different to the norm. People don't like change. It's okay, yeah. We have, I stand up for myself and for others. I am a warrior. You're a warrior. So I feel like you're not afraid to stand up for yourself. You're not afraid to stand up for the people that you believe in. You know, with that Aries energy, of course. You're not afraid to go to war for the people that you love or the for, for the things that you love. Okay? Also, somebody here wants to stand up for you. They want to fight for their love. Someone like may want to prove their love to you by fighting up, by standing up for you, sorry. We have, I was born and built for all of this. Precisely. People are like, how can you do that? Because you were born for it. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's that, it's that, it is that simple. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and like, give us one more card, please, and thank you. We have, I surround myself with people who speak life into me. Everyone else can miss me. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, we're not even going to go deep into that. It's, it's, it says what it says. And I outthink, outwork, and outfly everyone. This is the issue. This is the issue. This is the issue. Like, that, that's the issue. You outfly everyone. I feel like I'm going to name the read in that. I'm going to name the read in that because that's the problem. That is the problem. There is no problem. You are the problem, but yet you are the solution. Do you know what? I think I'm going to name it... Um, I just heard was I on key? I always talk about him. I love him. He's a lyricist, man. One of his bars, he said, um, I think I mentioned it in my other reading. He said, um, I don't have enemies. I just have people upset. That's how I know I'm a threat. And I feel like that's what it is. I feel like you don't have any enemies with anyone. You don't, you, you don't, you, you keep yourself to yourself. You focus on your, your, your abundance, your ambitions, your creativity, your artistry, whatever it is that you do. You focus on your passions. People out here are mad. That five of swords energy, I'm not even going to pick up the cards to get it. But do you know what I mean? You don't have any enemies. You just have people upset. Because you are a threat. But do not let that get you. Okay, let me just. <laughs> let me just stop, guys. So I don't even know where I was going with that, okay? I need to go guys but um thank you so much I hope you enjoyed the reading I'm just trying to see if I can draw anything else here I'm like what else did I not pull oh I didn't pull from this deck I didn't pull from this deck give us a word to finalize the reading oh so simple and at the bottom of the deck oh so romantic yeah somebody may want to do something romantic for you I'm getting something about valentine's day I'm hearing will you be my valentine like, I love you, I miss you, oh, I just heard I miss you too, so yeah, it's just that simple, like, I feel like someone is trying to overcomplicate something, because I feel like someone just doesn't understand you, but I feel like you're, there's nothing really to understand, it's, it's like someone is trying to dissect you, and they're trying to complicate the situation, it's like, the simple answer is that you outthink, outfly, and outwork everyone, like, that's just it. And I feel like if you're trying to overcomplicate things, I feel like it's because you're thinking too much. Trust your intuition. Trust what your guides are saying. 
Like it's it's that simple. If you ask a question and then you get like a sign, that's the answer. You don't need to read too deep into it. You don't need to read over it, around it, or through it. It is what it is. It, it's, 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 it, you know, that's it. That is it. That's, that's, that's it. That's it. That is it. Okay. So thank you so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Uh, let me know in the comments if you liked it or at least give me a thumbs up. Okay. I will be seeing you guys in the next collective reading or i think for next i might do um elements we might do water air and earth i'm gonna start with air signs um for the next reading and then yeah we'll do you know earth and water or whatnot and um i'm also planning on doing a valentine's day special which will be on my love channel so um you know look out for that and then i will start to do the love readings next week because obviously you know we're entering valentine's day season so um season well you know the energy of love should be um pulsating next week therefore i should be in the mood to do romantic reading so we can see what happens okay so yeah so if you want love just subscribe no, subscribe to my love channel and i'll be on there soon okay i don't feel as pressurized to do readings on that channel because they're not time stamped like not time stamped they're not time framed okay so i'll post on there whenever i want to but the more people subscribe the more people show support the more readings i'll do okay so thank you so much um i love you guys and i'll see you soon bye